Hello, testing one, two, three. Hello, testing one, two, three. Can you give some response if you can hear my voice clearly? Just I will wait about one to two minutes like that for uh to wait for everyone to go into this webinar. Kelvin is here. Can you give some response if you can hear my voice? Hello, testing one, two, three. Uh, is it clear, Michael, my voice? Is it clear as always or uh, is good enough uh, to learn? Mm -hmm. Yes, clear. All right. So let's see. Two person. Yes, good. Mm, only Kelvin here. I will start in another 10 seconds like that. All right. Mm, let's see uh, the previous question. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry regarding uh, this. My bike uh, is overheated, so I need to stay at my friend's house. Uh, so I'm really sorry regarding this. Mm, mm, mm. Right, this also you sell in bullish candle. Do, 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 do. Uh, basic schedule. Do, 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 do. This one sell a region while you go here. Mm -hmm. Let me see the question. Okay, I will answer this first. Okay. So I uh, was asking. Uh, because uh, Zerko said uh, need to sell after the bearish candle, okay? So right here, this is a bullish candle, correct? Okay, but what uh, what is it with this rejection? Okay, we need to know what is the rejection. Okay, so before this, I uh, say about this candle blending, all right? Wait a moment. Oh. And the uh, blending. Okay. So this is kind of blending, which also mean you can see a uh, lower time frame candle without the need to change the time frame itself. Okay, this is the uh, the this is the definition of candle blending or the use of candle blending, All right? Mm, okay, I think this is good. All right. So what you see here when Zelko, right? No problem. Thanks for making the lesson possible. Despite the trouble, it's okay. That is my job because uh, you already pay me and. I'm not the type of guy that give excuse. I do not give a simple excuse. Just because my uh, my bike broke down, uh, that will not stop me from making this video. All right, so uh, what is it with this uh, rejection? Okay, which one is stronger, this one or this one? Okay, this one, it got an imbalance here. 
we got the first imbalance and it reject the first imbalance okay so this uh, candle right, this candle we will be starting the uh, here i will draw you something okay for example in lower time frame lpf or lower time frame oops lower time frame for example m15 okay m15 all right for example m15 it will have something like this to candle oh this one is too big but like this and then it will have something like this okay and then let's color this this is a bearish candle and this is the bullish candle for example right so this is called a bearish engulfing okay this is called the bearish engulfing okay so these two candles in higher time frame you will see something like this okay equal to higher time frame please note down uh please note down regarding this uh candle blending this is very important for you to trade in higher time frame uh, because re previously uh kelvin uh or michael asked me regarding this uh, low time frame and higher time frame if i enter at h4 do i need to wait for h4 candle to close no you do not need to do that if you understand candle blending but candle blending uh, needs some time for you to master okay but it's okay i think zelko almost there regarding this candle blending okay uh, so this one we will be measuring this right this candle we we'll take it here and this candle just take something like this oh sorry mm -hmm. one the same height and just take it like this right so you got a bearish candle so we mark it here and over here is the week oh this monitor is really small why it does not go black all right good okay so this is the rejection on m we see something like this okay uh so for example we see in this uh in this chart okay we open the m30 okay so let's mark this shadow okay this shadow Okay, this on M30, okay, on M30, it is a shadow here, okay, but on M15, oh no, I think it's smaller one, M5, M15, moment, okay, so on M5, uh, this candle already show a bullish pattern. It's already break this, but on higher time frame, on higher time frame, it just a week. Okay, it just a shadow here. It's only a shadow, but on lower time frame, it's already a body, and then a bullish body, and this will cancel out each other and will become a shadow. Okay. Mm, 
So the one that Zelko enter when when you got a rejection like this, it's actually claiming over here you will have a bearish engulfing, a bearish engulfing. You will have a bearish engulfing here, which makes this uh, candle, which makes this rejection. When it close, it's already show a bullish, uh, a bearish engulfing. This is a bull candle and a bear candle, which makes uh, this possible. This this kind of pattern this week is actually a candle blending. All right. Mm. No problem. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> no and clear. I love you too. All right. Uh, so let's see if we have other question. So I already explained that. Bro, mm, picture. This one instant buy after candle close. Yes, correct. No rejection base imbalance split base. All right. Look how it's open yellow. Sorry, I don't understand. I'm gonna confuse candle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sell at rejection. All right. Sell after candle close. Also correct. I I don't quite understand. Okay, I think can we uh do you have any question regarding decision point? Guys? <laughs> do you have any question regarding decision point or I will be proceeding to high liquidity zone? Do, 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 do. Question. I mean, is typing. I want you to all uh, be clear regarding this uh, decision point because this is very important. Because by understanding decision point, you will know whether the QM uh, or QM or SPR RBS will able to support price or not. You will be having a signal to cut loss, or you will be having a signal to hold your position uh, as a confirmation entry. So this uh, decision point is really important to save you money and will make you more safe uh, to hold your position. When we have no decision point in M1 and we have M5 is in M5 decision point. So right here, uh, Zerko said, if we had, do not have a decision point on M1, and but we have a decision point on M5. Okay, so we can take decision point on M5 and must use the uh, rejection on M5, okay? Uh, so I, I write it down so you can note it in your notes or anything, okay. Zerko question. Uh, Zerko question is something like this. Uh, if uh, we don't find decision on M1, but we find decision on M5, okay, what to do? This is a cool question. If we don't find decision on M5, but we do, uh, we find decision on. If we don't find decision on M1 on one minute chart, but we find decision on a uh, five minute chart, what to do? Okay, so if you find decision on M5. You must wait rejection on M5 close. Okay, so on M5 time frame also. Okay, so the decision is depend on which time frame you find the decision. Okay, for example, okay, for example, you find H4 like this. So I cannot. Scroll down. This monitor is quite small. 
so I cannot draw very much. For example, this we got a H4. Okay, we got H4 candle. This is H4 decision, for example, H4 decision. And then you got a very clean break. Like that. Okay, let's color this first. Oh no, I think mm, let's color this. Got a H4 position. And inside here, inside here, you find no inside here, you got N five position. Okay. So this is your zone. This is the point of uh, this is your base on H4. And this is for example, this is the decision point on M5. Okay. This is M5 decision zone. Okay, and then price come to this zone. Okay, something like this. All right. It do something like this. Okay. And then inside here. You got something like this. Okay. Uh, it reject. And then it close. Okay, it open new candle. Okay. So you can instant here. Okay, for example, instant. Instant sell here. Okay, why? Because the decision on your M5 already close candle, okay? The candle in M5 that you wait for rejection already close and uh, it already open a new candle. Okay, so you can instant, okay? But Zelko style, I think uh, he wait for a, another bearish engulfing before it's in instant trade, okay? Got a double confirmation, okay? So if they go, uh, he most likely will sell here. Okay. Oh. He will sell after the confirmation. So there is a drop like that. Sell here. Instant. Okay. Mm. All right. Mm, when we have okay, I think I'm answering your question. When we have no decision point in M1, we have M5. So we will wait the decision on M5. Okay. So if we do not have a decision on M15, M5, or M1, we cannot find the decision, but we can find the decision on M30. Okay. So if we find the decision on M30, uh, we we must wait for the uh, minute, uh, 30 minute chart to close after the rejection before we can instant our cell. Since previous you said if we are using M1 decision point, DP is at M1 base. This is for, okay, so if you are using M1 decision base and you using M1 SL, okay, so the DP, the DP, must be in M1. Okay, if you're using the uh, M1 decision and you're using the decision as the SL, so you cannot expect price uh, will hold that decision point uh, 
anterior TP if you're using the same SL. Okay. Mm, okay, I will I will I will answer Mio question first. Wait a moment. Right. Okay, for example, like this. Okay. Uh this is H4 SL. H4 SL. Okay. This is M5 SL. Okay. So if you're using this M5 SL, just make sure you have a take profit uh, within the M5 range. Okay. Because price can still shoot up like this. Okay. It can still take the above decision. Maybe you have another decision here. Okay, maybe you have another decision here. So you cannot tell whether this M5 SL can withstand this H4 price. Okay, but sometimes uh, you can still use M5 SL, but it's quite risky because you will losing your trade. It's a good trade. You will be floating for a moment, but eventually you will get in profit because just uh, your entry is based on h4 so the take profit uh, is more profitable for you to take uh, the h4 tp and using the h4 sl so take about the uh, one to three ratio like that a minimum okay so i think i answer this and michael what about target in different time frame uh okay i already explained this thing uh i think I, I think I need to draw it, okay, just to make everyone get confused. Uh, uh, uh. So this is USDJPY, uh, H4. The decision it takes is somewhere on M30, I think. H4. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? Sorry, what is this? It's a power button. We saw the uh, this. What is this? Sorry, then mm. to find other example. Wait a moment. G, G. to find some decision point first I think this one this one does not reject each mm, mm, mm. no, no rejection here. It's a good rejection, yes. Okay, for example, you're using H4. So you got a rejection here. Okay, so you got a rejection here. Okay, but if you're waiting for H4, like this, okay. So if you're waiting for H4, this is 4 hour, okay. So 
if you want to enter a trade, you need to wait after this candle close. Okay, so after this, okay, so if you close over here, okay, so you got a rejection here, and then you already missed about 8 pips like that, okay. But you can also look on lower time frame to see if there is a good rejection, okay. So this is, uh, there's no bullish angle frame yet. Okay, let's see on lower time frame. On the lower time frame. Okay, let's see bullish angle frame. All right, so over here, you already got a bullish angle frame on lower time frame. Okay, wait a moment. Like this. Okay, so let's see on this decision on the left, do we have something on M30? Wait a moment. This monitor is quite small. Okay, so you will be using. Oh, all right. This decision, okay. I will mark it in white. I think. So your SL, if you're using over here as a SL, all right, H4, Okay, so you have uh, your M5 here, your M5 zone over here. This is all the zone for M5, about 15 pips like that. So after this rejection, and then it close, okay. So in about 30 minutes like that in M30, okay, M30. So after 30 minutes, you can already instant your trade, and you already have about 32 pips. Okay, so sometimes price can also show up like this, okay. So your take profit usually on RBS or SPR. Okay, your first TP. Okay, so your first TP on lower time frame. Usually, uh, I will pressure close about here. Okay, about here or on your resistance like this. Okay, see, this is on lower time frame because later on, price can still shoot shut down okay so on h4 uh, if you if you entry on h4 okay so this is h4 right so you already got about this uh, this rejection you see here after this rejection for example you are waiting for this rejection okay so after this candle close okay it take your uh, take profit and then it should uh, shoot down again okay because uh, you can take a lot more profit if you're using lower time frame take profit for partial close because sometimes price can shoot down here but if you're using h4 for example you're using this uh, h4 you're entering on here just make sure you your sl is here okay not uh, just above uh, this decision point on m5 because sometimes in h4 price can still shoot down like this okay so if you entry on H4, just put your stop loss here, and then uh, just wait for your next uh, next next TP lah. All right, over here. Okay. So you are waiting for price to go over here. Okay. Mm, let's see. What picture is this? Do you mean the shadow is just touching the zone and not cons uh, and not enter is considered risky trade? Okay, this is risky because we are waiting for first imbalance rejection. Okay, we are waiting here. Okay, let me save this picture. Wait a moment. This takes a really long time.
Kita mohon. Mm -mm. This is window 10. I think I need to draw a new one. Okay, so for example, we have something like this. We will entry. Okay. We will wait for rejection on the first imbalance for confirmation entry okay so we wait for the first imbalance rejection or first imbalance for confirmation entry okay please we will wait uh, for rejection here if you wait for rejection here you already using a, a different type of rejection so i will only teach this why is this cancel uh, i will only teach you the one that for confirmation entry or rejection on the first imbalance because this one has a uh, more probability of winning trades compared to other types of rejection okay that's why i wrote it as risky trade Right. So I'm really sorry regarding this because this uh, computer is quite slow. So I'm trying to work in with it. All right. So I already answered this. Okay. You mean by shadow is just touching the zone and not enter is considered risky trade? Yes, correct. Mm, this we should. Uh, where should we place the pending order limit? Okay. So pending order you can put on the SNR level, right? S and R pending order, and this one also can because this one is a shadow codes type one. Okay, you can put your limit order over here, over here, over here, and over here. Okay, so this type of trade actually is quite risky because you can only take a sell limit up here and then close because it can continue in motion. If you want to trade this one you need to wait for the bearish engulfing all right so i will i will show you an example with a moment i need to add my friend into my group wait a moment where's my phone I will show you the type of entry using uh, the low price. Okay. 1000 entry. Wait a moment. All right, this one. Okay, you can put your sell limit here. Uh, this is a different type of trade. This is a swap zone, actually, but you can still use uh, the same concept, right? So this is a swap zone, and oh. And this is a sell limit order. Sell limit. All right. And then price come back to this, activate the sell. And it's only a touch trade. Okay. This is a sell limit before. And you can put sell limit here. But for this trade, 
I happen to I I cannot swing this trade because it do not create a bull, uh, a bearish engulfing after this. So it just shoot up here and hit my stop loss. All right. So I only able to have a touch trade here just for for one candle close. All right. So it's actually quite risky. And this SNI is quite good, and this place is also good. So one, two, three. So this is the best one for to wait for rejection on the open price or the first imbalance. And you can put your sell limit at the SNR pending order, but the best one will be here. Uh, it's not the best one, but it's actually uh, the safest one on this here, on this high price, right? Uh, so we using uh, material rejection. I already answered this. Uh, so if we using H4 as main imbalance point, we can have multiple trade based on rejection on different decision point on different time frame. Yes, correct. You can wait for decision on different types of level. For example, you can wait for on M5 uh, decision point, but you must wait also the rejection at this same level. Okay, even though you're using H4, so you can stay with rejection over here. Okay, can we draw when we trade all decision point and we wait for rejection to enter in one pair? Mm, you can draw the important one only actually because most of the decision points sometimes it will be break. Okay, mm, let's. Go to lower time frame M fifteen. Is it here? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. All right. So over here, you got a few decision point. Over here. Over here, I will delete this one. Delete, delete. Okay, so on M15, you already got a rejection there, so you can instant after the break of this because this is a type of, uh, not the type of rejection on open price on M15, but on M30, you already got a rejection here. Okay. So this is on M15, but if you go to M5, so you have some other decision point, right? So you will have decision point over, over here. Mm, and over here all right let's see what happened here this is type of decision also let's make it red color this is also red color Let's see what happened on the right. Okay, so this one got broken. Okay, this one got broken. Uh, what is the question again? Let me. Okay, so if we're using H4 as main imbalance point, we can have multiple trade based on rejection on different decision point on different time frame. Okay, so over here, you got one decision point on M1, but you know over here, this decision point sometimes cannot hold or withstand the price. Okay, you need, uh, uh, if you're using H4, it's better for you to see on M5 or M15 for a better rejection, all right? So on M1, you can fine tune, but just make sure you're using your H4 SL over here. If you're using uh, SL over here on M5, 
you will be hitting your stop loss. Okay, over here you already got your stop loss and went up. All right, so we do not want that. Just make sure you just make it safe and use your H4 stop loss. But if you want to trade like me, uh, you can cut your loss. Okay, over here you can cut loss, and over here you can cut loss just a few pips like that. And over here after this, you wait for another rejection, and then finally. We just enter your trade, okay, and then recover back your losses. Um, can we draw when we trade or this is and wait reject shit to enter? Yes, already the answer. So, uh, do you have any other question regarding this decision point? Let me see here. Um, no, only for comment. Okay, one pair. All right, only one. Okay, I think I need to go into high liquidity zone. All right, think on decision point. If you still not understand, we can still discuss on upcoming webinar. All right. Uh, so I really need to go this high liquidity zone. Wait a moment. Okay, so this is a high liquidity zone, right? So high liquidity zone is a zone which are created by price that reacted with support and resistance zone. In this zone, there are good history of buyer and seller which makes this zone important for determine a good entry point. Good history most likely to have a good future. All right, so over here is a type of high liquidity zone that I illustrated in the line chart. Uh, so we will have something like this. You got a uh, resistance here, and then it got break. Uh, it got a breakout, and then it got a support here. Okay, and then it got a breakout, right? And then it got a resistance here, and then it got a breakout. So your entry will most likely will be on here. Okay, over here the return on here. Okay, so this is not a SBR RBS or RBS SBR. But you will be taking entry based on here. Okay. So this uh, RBS will be your entry. But the high liquidity zone will determine on uh, which SBR you will be choosing. Okay. So uh, price will usually, where is my mouse? The okay, price will usually uh, hand down this uh, RBS uh, in this high liquidity zone before it's going to shoot up. Okay. So this is high liquidity zone uh, on the chart. Okay, you can see there is a support here, and then it got broken down, and then it become a resistance, and then it got broken down again and become support over here, and then it got broken down again and become resistance. It got broken down again and it become support, and still become support, and you can entry on this RBS or SBR. All right. Mm. All right. This is another one. Okay. So we have a support here, support here, support here, and then you got a breakout, and then eh, this is resistant. Okay, this red one is the resistant, and then you got a breakout, and then you got a support, and then you got another breakout, and then you get a resistant. So you'll be selling on this area, okay? So you can also get a QM, high, low, high, high, low, low. And this is not a QM. This is a HNS, head and shoulder, but this is actually a MPL. So we'll be learning that later, but this is actually a good setup because over here, it got a very good history, high liquidity zone, and over here, we got an HNS. So it's, it will be a good rate uh, if, it's in this high liquidity zone. It's a really good zone, actually. Mm, so, already market structure. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, no question. On here. No question, also. So, I will proceed in this. All right. So, first, what you need to do is 
uh, we need to change this line graph will be black color okay so i want you to find something like this all right you so you draw something like this uh, okay all right this one mm, so you find something that there is a lot of touch the the line chart has a lot of uh liking to this kind of level okay so i need to explain in the form of drawings wait a moment do, 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 do. Okay, so you have something like this over here. This one needs to be bigger. Mm. You have this one, and then you have this one, okay? Then you have support. You have support, you have support, okay? So this is uh, in, okay, let me see if there's an issue. Okay, in Mr. Manso class, uh, they will teach you about uh, SSR. Or significant support and resistance like something like this let me draw a mr. Mansu class okay okay sir Mansur safari uh, uh, not how you can uh, he call it as SSR or significant support and resistance. Okay. okay, it will look something like this. Then got a breakout. Then you have something like this. Then you got a breakout. Then you got something like this. And then finally you got a breakout. So this is called the SSR level. This is SSR level. Okay. Where there is a lot of shadow touching here. Shadow here. Shadow over here. And shadow over here. So this is called an SSR level. Right. Any question? And what is the thickness of the zone? H4 can be quite a thick zone of 1,100 pips. No. <laughs> how many bull bear? Let me. How many bull bear touch around the same level must we have to consider? Okay. So this is a good, a good question. Mm. Let me copy this. So this is the question. Okay. Uh, really? Uh, or a good which LZ will have a minimum of two breakout. And three uh, 
uh, as a zone, uh, as a area, as a interaction. Uh, valid or good HZ, we have a minimum of two breakout and three SR. Okay, yeah, something like this. Okay, so you have something like this two breakout. This is the minimum, you can have more. Okay, this is uh, one resistance, one resistance. And two support, two support. Okay, so you have one here and one here. Okay, so one resistance and two support. Um, and what is the thickness of the zone? Can we join in the group of one thousand entry? Uh, this one thousand entry only open after I finish. Capturing 1000 sniper entry. Um, what is the thickness of the zone? Okay, thickness of the zone will be like this. I will explain later after I draw this. Okay, wait a moment. Let's see the question. I know. And what is the thickness? Uh, when we have more touch at the line, is good. Yes, correct. Very correct. Very true. Okay. Mm, but if I want to use the hazard to drill, I don't know how when it break and reverse at HZ. Okay, I will explain later. Um when price come to a zone, we see how price make. Um not actually. But actually it's not like that. I will explain it to you. Okay, so over here the trade is like this. Okay. So this is your I, uh, SSR level first. You need to find your SSR level. First, you need to uh, find your SSR level. Over here. And then uh, you can screenshot this, save as picture. Okay, and then you change to candlestick. Okay, so how to measure the thickness of the zone? Okay, so you can measure the thickness based on over here, this higher shadow and the lower shadow here. So you can just drag like this over here. Okay, but this zone is not, uh, this zone is just for us to to know a quality trade, uh, the place that you want to choose your SBR, RBS, or your QM. Okay, so over here is actually a QM, high, low, high, high, low, low. All right, so this is a QM. Mm, let's open H1, you will see it better. Okay, so this is QM, high, high, low, high, high, low, low. And you take the trade, okay. How to trade this? Okay. Uh, to trade HZ, we will use QM or SBR RBS. Okay. okay. We use QM or SBR RBS in this zone. Okay. So, uh, for example, the trade using. Uh, Using HLZ, the entry will be something like this. At the moment, be something like this. All right. Do you see this key support? This is a key support, and this is a key resistance. All right. And then uh, you will have uh, this is a type of trade that I used. Uh, so this is a drop based drop. Actually, over here inside here got a decision point. So I just put my sell limit here. So, but why I can put my sell limit uh, without waiting for a rejection using decision point. So I actually using support, resistance, 
and then a drop base drop inside here is a decision point but i can take a sell limit order because behind here got a hlz okay high liquidity zone mm, and another one this one i think okay so this is also a high liquidity zone or uh, ssr right so over here you got support over here you got resistance and then got broken down and then over here you will have a decision point and then i will still entry sell here and this is also a trade all right mm, again all right so this is also uh, this is not uh hlz uh, this is also a high liquidity zone over here over here over here you got support breakout support breakout and you can trade a trade here when it become uh, when it come back to this zone this zone is just to catch your eye about the zone but you must take the ssr uh, you must change it to line chart to see the ssr right mm. is there any question regarding this 45 minutes mm. So this is the high liquidity zone. HLQ zone. But our entry will be on SSR, all right? This is one more confirm when we enter or trade. Yes, another confirmation. Okay. Uh, to, uh, this is, uh, I usually, uh, this is usually be used for selling me. Or buy limit. Okay, if you want to use your sell limit or buy limit, you must have a SSR uh, in HLZ. Okay, this actually the most important one is SSR. All right. Mm, so Jacob is typing. When we have CP or before this, we can search for enter. Yes, you can. You can search for compression. Look, uh, wait a moment. Look, this is compression. I take this trade on compression. This is SSR, a high liquidity zone. Okay. Uh, so uh, this is compression, right? Compression. See? Uh, is there any other question? Uzai is typing. So we trade HZ only with SBR, RBS. There is support and resistance and not supply and demand. Ah, uh, yes, we can also use supply and demand. One more example, please. Yes, sure. Uh, uh, we can take it on uh, SND also. Look, for example, I take this one on a drop base drop to drop base drop in line with SSR, right? This is a drop base drop and this is the entry, right? So I will show one example for Amit. Mm, Amit one example. 
Let's change to line chart again. That is no one. All right, this is good. And then you find uh, the place where there's got a lot of touch. Okay. Mm. So over here, we've got a lot of touch. So we got over here. All right, so look, we have at least two breakout, but over here we got a lot of breakout. Over here we got a breakout. Mm. Over here, over here, over here. So we already have our minimum two breakout, actually. This is two, one, then here. Okay, so over here, we have a lot of breakout. Right, so we change to our candlestick. Mm. Okay, let's look for the zone, for our entry point. Okay, so over here, we can take the SBR trade, uh, the RBS trade. Okay, so our trade will be over here. Okay, so this is our uh, RBS and Let's mark our swap zone. This is our swap zone. And our stop loss will be a few pips from the, the zone, from the swap zone. A few pips. Okay, so a few pips above the zone. Okay, so this is our stop loss. So this is our stop loss. As a below zone, a few pips. The zone uh, 10 to 20 pips. This is too big, I think. Okay, this is our RBS. And this is our swap zone. Swap zone inside the shelter. Please draw his shelter one more. Okay, sorry, I think you have not teach how to draw the thickness of his Hmm. Yes, this is uh, a HZ. This is correct one. Okay, we teach you one more time. This, okay. For example, over here, you got something like this. Okay. 
No matter what color is the candle, it's okay. Or blue color, it's okay. Any color will do. Alright. So the zone will be over here. Okay, so this is our HLZ. HLZ. HLZ is the place to find a trick setup. Uh, not okay, uh, it's a place to find a trick setup. Okay, we do not trade HLZ alone uh, on itself, but we take uh, the HLZ uh, as a place to find a trick setup. To find a trade setup. Right, so I will draw another one as per request. Mm, this, this one and pretty any time frame will do. Okay, so this is a good one also. So you just take your the line like that. This come. This copy that right find the, the best one or this one this one or right. where is it this one okay I think I take this one okay so over here we got here this little guy here and copy this you also got no you only got one here thing over here no. right so your zone will be over here this candle here, look, we just take it here like this. Just take that one zone. Like that. Okay. So just take this zone and then focus on over here. Okay. So this, eh, I think I draw the same thing. No. Uh, this one is a trade for QM, QM setup. So you will be, if you want to trade here, okay, just focus here, a different type of setup. Okay. QM setup in line with HLZ. So we find QM setup in HZ, alright, in high liquidity zone. Okay. So you can just send in the HZ. Later we'll be uh, trading this, but not yet. This one is only for you to find something like a place where price really like to go here. Okay. So this got breakout and then price reacted again with it. So this is a really good place to trade, alright. Um, okay, if you draw in latest example, you show us. Um, latest example, it will be okay if you draw in latest example, you show us. Uh, what does this mean? Do you want me to draw it again or the latest one we mean something over here, maybe? If 
that is the case, I will draw it for you for live trade setup. For example, you have something like this. Okay. So over here is also a high liquidity zone. Okay, so we have over here. Oh, sorry. So we got over here. Over here. Over here. Okay, this is good enough. Got to break out and then to SNR. All right, and then change to candlestick and we have this zone here we can take this one this uh, high one and this lower one okay, so we can take it here right so uh, no yeah we can take this one or you can also type, take this one for more smaller one. Just make sure you take a high and a low uh, between this line, okay? Okay, like this. Right. So this is one example. And then you can also have a high liquidity zone here. This seems like a better one. Or this one, this one, maybe this one. Okay, so this one will be better, I think. Got oh, got one here. Damn. Right here. Right here and another one here and then another one here okay so you can took for a trade here but this is our setup you can fine tune here Okay, so this is uh, the place where you most likely to find setup. So you have a, also a QM here, high, low, high, high, uh, and just wait for a setup here. You also got a fake out here. So you can wait for a setup here. Just remember to find a decision point like this one or over here and wait for rejection like always. Okay, so this is a type of setup where if you want to live trade, you will find a QM here. Example, you find you will find a QM over here. Got a QM setup, low, high, lower low, high high, okay. And then you can also wait for trade over here, okay. In this zone, okay. You need to find your setup here, all right. And you can also take this one, okay. This is also a good setup. Mm, over here if you want to trade on touch trade you can take this one this is a uh, mpl okay okay over here uh let me change to line chart let me see this one okay so you can take a uh, touch trade here also okay and this is not a signal but just to give you a brief example on how you want to trade at the area of high liquidity so you can take a trade there right mm. be okay if you draw this zone. so we find a trade at hz level and the zone is not really very important yes correct 
this uh my friend desk is quite small and usually the mouse just fall from the table mm. so if i create ashes and the zone is not really very important mm, yes not important <laughs> When so we find three edges and zone is not important. Yes, not important. We only find three setup. Yeah. And there is HZ, it almost look like an area of decision where it choose continue duration or change duration of the trade. Okay, this one follow the breakout. Or the reason breakup. The reason breakup. Okay, like this one. This breakup is over here. So you will follow uh, on this breakup. This breakup is like this one. It's upward. And over here, you also expect upward. Okay. But for example, this got broken down. Okay. So you will expect price to come back here all right okay so follow the breakout uh, on hlz only okay mm. right new is typing nice and thank you is there any other question Hello. Um, I think there's no more question. We already one hour and a half, and there is no response. So I think uh, Zeko is typing. Uh, uh, um. And homework, yes, do the homework and I will check on it. I already post the homework section, you just uh, see in the Facebook group. I already post it there. I already post the homework section. You can just in, uh, you can just send in your homework and I will see whether you understand or not based on your homework. So do we also find decision point on HL level to find a trade? We will always find decision until the end of the course. Decision is very important. We will use it. And we will use it every time. So do we also, yes, correct, balance and imbalance setup. HLZ is only a place for you to find a trade setup over here. HLZ is a place to find a trade setup, not a place to trade. You need to have a setup at the HLZ to for a trade. Okay, bro, thanks. So I think everyone understand. Is there any other question? Uh, uh, uh. Amit is typing. Do, do, do. Michael is typing. I need a response. But for homework, do we need to show decision point? No. For homework, just find two things. Just find SSR at line chart and HLZ at CS chart. Okay, good luck for your bike. Yes, I will check on it later. I think it's already 12 midnight. Uh, must it be exactly on HLZ level? 
no but uh but somewhere somewhere in the area okay thanks uh is there any other question do, 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 do. michael is typing all right okay so i think that's it uh for today's class so i need to see my bike uh so i think that's it for today's class thank you for watching and have a nice day thank you uh don't forget to send your homework